Hi. Good evening, Dominicans. It's me. As you may have noticed, I have not made a video in a long time, three days, four days, a long time by my standards, since I make them every day, sometimes two a day. And the reason why I have not made a video is because nobody's talking. Everybody went AWOL. Well, Scarridge spoke a little bit. He, he spoke about the IMF report. He didn't put it in context. He just cherry-picked some of the things that were in the report, like the expected growth and the projected growth. I read an article on um, Caribbean 360 or something like that. As Dominicans, as usual, Scarrett gave you a little piece of the story, but he did not give you the whole story. But that is Scarrett. Let's accept Scarrett as Scarrett. So Robbie didn't speak. <laughs> Peter didn't speak. Austria didn't speak. I see Daru said something about the Marigold Hospital. I'm not even taking that on. I'm not taking that on. They were giving me anything for me to talk about. Well, I understood that Dr. A. <laughs> Dr. A. H. was on his wife. My husband is not gay. <laughs> Program this morning talking some crap. As you all know, I don't listen, so I don't know, but I just picked up, you know, a couple of little bits and pieces from what was going on in Facebook. I don't listen. I have my standards. <laughs> so I was, for two days, I have been patrolling the you know, looking for something for me to talk about, something that one of them would say, but they're saying what? They're saying Jack. <laughs> I hear UWP, you know, throwing them a googly, telling them, all you were telling us, we boycotting Parliament and this, that, that. Now come to Parliament. We want you in Parliament. They afraid Parliament now. <laughs> they don't want to be in Parliament at all. <laughs> they afraid. They afraid. They afraid to be in Parliament. So. After I looked out for the you know, looking for something for me to talk about, because I gotta talk about something, or my show is growing old and cold if I don't keep it warm. I found an article written by a commentary made by um some Joseph guy, JJ Joseph. Now I read the article and to be quite honest, is the same thing that I have been saying in my own way, in different ways, in different little pieces that I have written and spoke about and put on my videos and stuff like that. So we're on the same page there. And I also directed to Dom Dominicans to that article written by somebody, I forget now how, Dominica the Rasca State a theory, a dependency theory, something like that. I have showed it to you guys how many times. So the article itself <laughs> did not really interest me. Like the comments I'm telling you about some of Dominicans are easy. Dominicans got some talk. Dominicans get, got some talk. So I'm not even going to focus on the comments from those labor rights, those enabling labor rights that will enable Skerritt until he brings them to the sea. Like I remember the Piped Piper of Hamlin where he was playing this sweet music of the trumpet and all the rats followed him into the sea. That is what Skerritt is doing with some Dominicans and they will drunk them. <laughs> they will drunk. They will drunk. They will drunk. So I saw a little comment there that made me laugh so much. <laughs> Dominicans are the best. Dominicans are the best. I'm telling you. <laughs> they are the best. I saw somebody made a comment there. Uh, where is it? About the Bra Rabbit story. <laughs> the 
They are Bra Rabbit Star, Bra Anansi, Bra Anansi. So the person wrote on the end of the Roosevelt carrot begging policy yeah. reminds me of a story I heard many years ago about Bra. It was supposed to be Bra Anansi, but the person said Bia Anansi. He was lazy, tricky, and had to take care of his large family. Oh my God. Of his large family. He, here is part of it. Bra Anansi is a tricky beer. He had a wife and 10 children. Such a large family was hard to feed. One very rainy day, he had no food for his family. The children began to cry for food. Mrs. Anansi tried to comfort her children, but this did not help to stop the crying. Mrs. Anansi got very angry, so she went to her husband, who was cozily wrapped under his blanket. She said to him, why are you sleeping? The children are crying for food. You must go out to get them some food. Bra and Nancy did not want to go out in the rain, but his wife threw him out of the house. <coughs> Bra and Nancy went to beg his friend for food. First, he met Mr. Dog. <laughs> Hello, my friend. He said, please give me some food for my hungry children. If you don't get rid of that Anansi government people, sooner or later your children will cry for food. I think this is, this is a fantastic analogy, this Bra Anansi story. Because Dominicans carry that all over the place begging for food for you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Can't you provide your own food for your own self, Dominicans? Why do you allow scaring to make beggars out of you? And JJ Joseph, I agree with you. I support your commentary 100%. You did good. <laughs> I don't have anything else to talk about. <laughs> Say something, Miss Carrot. Say something, Robbie. Say something, Miss Carrot. Say something, Peter. Or Street. Talk, talk. Call it to talk for me to talk too. <laughs> Good night.